Hey guys, how are you? I'm April from Mama Loves Food. And I don't think there's anybody here yet, so I'm probably just talking to myself. But while I'm talking to myself, I'm going to go ahead and um, check on the computer, see if anyone's here. If you're here, say hi. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We'll start the show in just a minute. Tell me where you're from. I'm going to do a quick share here to see if we can get some more people in. Those of you uh, who have tuned in before know it takes a minute or two to uh, get folks on and get everything situated. So just give me one quick second. Tonight we're going to go ahead and do, sorry, talking to my mother-in-law. Um, tonight we're going to do make-ahead breakfasts. Uh, when I asked last week what you guys would like to see uh, more of, several people said, uh, make ahead breakfast. So we're going to do that. And we do do those in our house. Um, so it's perfect. I've got five kids and breakfast is... Hi Lynette. Hi Vince. How are you? Breakfast is kind of a big deal because I'm not a morning person at all. Like not even remotely. If I could sleep until 11 every day, I would be thrilled. Um, but with five kids, that's not really an option. So um, our kids do their breakfast by themselves a lot of times. Hi from Minnesota. Hi Renee. Uh, our kids do breakfast by themselves a lot of times. They, they know they can get cereal and fruit and um, and then we also make stuff up, uh, make stuff ahead. So, okay, good, sorry. So we should be getting some more people real soon. And I'm so excited that I can see comments today. Hi, Charity. Um, okay, so like I was saying, I apologize for, you've got a perfect view of my really dirty dishes today. I'm gonna scoot over here so you don't see them. See, you just see me. Um, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We do this every Thursday, Tuesday, and Wednesday I come on. On Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. New Zealand, wow, hi. Um, we come on and do a cooking show at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, which is what we're doing tonight. And then on Wednesdays, it's a little bit more sporadic, but we try to come on in the afternoons between three and four-ish. Hi, Erin, and uh, do kids crafts. So yesterday we did Make it home Play-Doh, no cook, make it home Play-Doh. And on Tuesday, oh, what did we make on Tuesday? Hi from Chicago, hi Bonnie. On Tuesday, we made something else. We made donuts on Tuesday, that's right. Oh, it's, it's a week of breakfast foods, although, you know, if we're being honest, donuts are more like dessert, but anyway, so it looks like we're starting to get a few people on. Hair goals. This is called unwashed for four days. I threw in some dry shampoo before we uh, went on so that you wouldn't see the grease. Now it's probably all white and flaky, but sh sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that on TV or whatever this is, Facebook. Hi, Kelly, how are you? So anyway, today we're gonna do, hi, Kathy from Texas. We're gonna do make ahead breakfast. And uh, my girlfriend, Erin, who just said hair goals, might or might not come over and assist me for a little while. Um, we're gonna do it anyway. I've got lofty goals today. I don't know about hair goals, but I've got lofty goals. I wanna do some make ahead breakfast crescents as well as some make ahead waffles. And um, there's nothing special about the waffles except for the fact that I put them in the freezer and don't have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning or whatever time my kids get up and make them. They can just take them out and put them in the microwave. Hi, Johnny from Kansas. So that's what, that's what the plan is. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we get kicked off after an hour and a half because we haven't made anything. I'm excited though. I made a new purchase this week. Very excited. So I don't have to turn my back to you for the stove because we're gonna make eggs today. Hi Brian, oh, who's that? Bellin, hi Bellin from Arizona. Hi, I bought a hot plate so I can cook right here. We're gonna cook our eggs. I realize my tripod situation is still not ideal. Hi Jenny, how are you? Uh, my tripod situation is still not ideal, so you don't get the perfect view of my cooking, but it's better than, you know, my backside. So we're going to use that. And I also recently got da -da -da, a new waffle maker. I'm super excited about this. My We had a Cuisinart when we got married 13 years ago that we finally killed. I, I feel like 13 is the year where things go bad. Not in our marriage. Our marriage is fine. Um, but appliance wise, uh, everything seems to be dying this year. So um, our old one was this cute little bitty thing that was perfect for newlyweds. And hi, Jana. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you like the show. Hi, Carrie from Oklahoma. Um, anyway, so this makes 
lots more waffles. I'm super excited about it. And we've used it a few times and I adore it. Adore it. I'm so happy with it. So we're going to do waffles and we are going to do crescent roll sandwiches. And I bought um, eggs, ham, sausage, and cheese to put in those. And then we'll do waffles so that the kids can do their own thing in the morning and I can sleep. Or at least if not sleep, like kind of only half watch and not cook, which is the goal. We don't want to cook in the morning. Cooking in the morning is lame. Right? Am I right? So we're going to do these. And I'll start with my quick free. Blah, sorry, guys. It's been a day. I know I always say that, but it's always been a day. My hair looks great. Thank you. Seriously, dry shampoo is amazing. I can't, I only discovered it about a year ago and I, it's, it's life changing. It really is. What scent is in your my necklace today? <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to tell you it's grapefruit again because I'm a grapefruit fanatic. Although Aaron gave me orange today, so I'm super excited about that. I think we might be switching up the citrus tomorrow. We're going to try some orange. So let's see, what should we do first? Oh, frequently asked questions. Well, that was one of them. People are always asking me about my necklace. It's a diffuser necklace. It's got grapefruit oil in it today. And I got it from Siren Sisters Elixirs on Etsy. And I think Erin's watching. Erin, if you want to throw up a link to where I bought it, um, it's her shop. So it's awesome. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, she's going to have a special for my viewers tonight or tomorrow, maybe next week. I don't know. Erin, um, are we going to do that? Are we going to have a special? I hope so. Anyway, um, yeah, so the necklace is a diffuser necklace. The, the hair is wash and wear. It is what it is. Some days it's big, some days it's small, some days it's curly, some days it's straight. I just never know with this hair. The sink that is currently filled with dishes, and I apologize, is from Ikea. Uh, growing on my windowsill is basil, green onion, and aloe. The flowers are from my hubby. Um, what are the other questions I get? Yes. Oh, Erin says yes. So she is going to run a special. So Erin, go ahead and stick whatever your special is in the comments, and I will, if I catch it, I'll try to read it out loud. Um, oh, and in this, people always ask what's in my mason jar. It's just dishwasher pellets. Uh, my daughter got into them once and tried to taste them, which is really, 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 really dangerous. So after that, we put them on the counter sealed in a container. And that's it. That's our quick FAQ, people always ask. And we're going to get started because we've got a lot of cooking to do today. So I'm going to unbox this because I'm super excited. I just grabbed this at Target. It was like 20 bucks. I was... I was gonna spoil myself and do one of the induction ones, which are so cool. Have you guys seen them? They are so cool. Um, they're cool to the touch, literally cool. <laughs> um, and they only heat up uh, specific kinds of metal. So like your cast, it'll heat up cast iron and the only thing that gets hot is the pan. So the surface never gets hot. And it works so quickly that it boils water in like three minutes which is insane, but they're like a hundred bucks. So I didn't get one over 700 viewers. Wow. Gosh, I can't see it from here because I'm kind of far away from the uh, screen right now. I did remember to put in my contact lenses today though. So you're not seeing the glare off my glasses and all the lights. One of these days I'll, uh, I'll spin the camera around so you guys can see I've got, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really ramshackle kind of operation here. I've got desk lamps with, um, bright white lights like shining at me from all over because my brother who is a hot shot in the ad industry watched my first video or the teaser for my first video and told me it was way too dark and to do something about that so I did because he's my brother and he gives good advice so there's a little bit of fuzz stuck in there pretty excited isn't this cute hopefully it works knock on wood everybody knock on wood for me we're gonna hope it works Hi, Cindy. First time watching. Thanks for joining us. So excited. So those of you just tuning in, last Thursday when we went on, we made um, chocolate bark. We made a spring-themed chocolate bark, which was fun. And at the end of the show, I asked what you guys wanted us to start. You know, I asked for some ideas for what you guys want to see. And I got a, several people who asked for Make Ahead Breakfasts. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're going to do some bacon head breakfast. We're going to do, we're going to do egg and cheese sandwiches with made in crescent rolls. And we are going to do, I'm sorry, you guys, my connection keeps going weak, which is lame. Um, I think it's because my two year old is sitting on a couch watching a movie with his Kindle and my daughter is in her bedroom 
watching a movie on her Kindle and my mother-in-law is in her room probably watching a movie on her Kindle. So we've got like wireless of the yin yang here today. Usually everybody's in bed by now, um, but my husband and his best friend took our boys, took the older boys to an ice hockey game. And uh, so the little ones wanted, I, we told them they could stay up late tonight. Hello from North Carolina, first time watching too. Hi Stephanie, and uh, I'm so glad you're joining us. So I'm gonna grab an extension cord because I forgot that this won't reach and I don't have electricity in my island. And then we're gonna go from there. Alright, my fingers are tingled. Okay, let's see if this is long enough. Hopefully this is long enough. This does not look like it's gonna be long enough. I don't know where my giant green one went. I had a giant green one over here earlier. So if you guys can tell me where you're from and what do you love, what's your favorite food? That's what I'd like to hear today. Tell me about your favorite food. Oh, there's my big green one. Alright, this one's plenty long. Tell me what your favorite food is. I mean like genre of food. So if you could only eat, you know, Chinese food or Mexican or Italian or good old American steak and fries, you had to eat one thing for a year, what would it be? For me, it would be hands down Asian food. And if I had to go specific area of Asia, it would be, I'm going to go with Thai. I'm kind of a Thai addict these days. So let's see, what's the best place to do this? Okay, for those of you just tuning in, we do this every Thursday here at Mama Loves Food, watching from Iraq. Wow, that's awesome, all across the world. Thanks for joining. Um, for those of you who are watching for the first time or only catch me here and there, we do this every Thursday here at Mama Loves Food. We do a little cooking show. And then every Tuesday, I'm on at Spaceships and Laser Beams. And uh, we do a cooking show there. And then Southern Home Cooking, that's a good choice. That is a solid choice. Uh, and then on Wednesdays during the day, I try to pop on with the kids here on Mama Loves Food and do a kid's craft. So Mexican food, I do love, you know, I love every kind of food. I don't know that I would be sad with any food. There's very few foods I don't like. I would venture to say almost none. So I am gonna turn my back to while we do the waffles a little bit because I don't really feel comfortable doing the waffle maker on the island, but Arkansas, love Mexican food, yummy. Hello from Indiana, first time viewer. Hi Amber, thank you so much for joining us. We have the same waffle maker. Isn't it amazing? I absolutely adore this waffle maker. It's new and I love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a pan for the eggs. We're gonna start by cooking some eggs. We're actually gonna start by cooking a really obscene amount of eggs because I have an obscene amount of children. All right, so we've got our cast iron, and hopefully it works on this. Oh, it's like just the right size. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and let's cross our fingers that this works because it's brand new. I just took it out of the box if you were watching earlier, and we're gonna put it on like medium low to get going. I'm gonna scoot that just out of the way for right now. I'm gonna get um, baking sheet and some other stuff. Hi, Kiwis, wow, you guys are from everywhere. This is so cool. Pennsylvania, yes, food, food. Yay, food, right? All of it, all of it. There's no bad food, I'm convinced. Well, maybe there's some, but very little that I've tried. Okay, and I'm gonna try and tell you the stuff that I'm using, where I got it from and whatnot as we go, but if I forget, just ask. Um, pop it in the comments and I'm happy to share and I'm happy to share what I paid for it. I'm, uh, there's no secrets here. Um, you can come in. My mother-in-law's peeking around the corner. No, I just want to make sure everything's okay. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Um, I'm going to get her on camera at some point, no, you guys. No, no. She's beautiful. You can see. <laughs> she's shy. She's camera shy, but she's pretty. Okay. Not that it would matter. Um, okay. This is, it's heating up. I can feel it. So that's exciting. I've got my sheet pans. These are from Costco. They come two in a set. I want to say I paid like nine or ten bucks for them and I love them. Got a few sets of them because I use them all the time. Love your video. Thank you, McAllen, Texas. Yay, Texas. I was born in Texas. I was born on Lackland Air Force Base. Um, and then uh, we moved to Homestead Air Force Base. And then when my dad got out, we moved to Coral Springs, Florida. We are actually going to do 18 eggs, guys, because my kids will go through 18 eggs in two days. So we're just going to do that. How many kids do I have? I have five kids. 
My oldest is nine and my youngest is two and a half. My, my oldest will tell you he's about to turn 10, but he's not, not till November. Hi, Jana, how are you? Hi, Laura, I think I already said that, but hi again. Hi, Mindy. Um, so yeah, so I have a nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. Oh, Erin just posted, Erin just posted the link for those of you who are interested in the necklace, because I get that, that's probably my most asked question these days. Um, I bought it from Erin at Siren Sisters Elixirs, and she's putting up a special for our viewers tonight. So if anybody wants one, go ahead and pop over there and get it. I have no um, financial affiliation to that. She's just being really nice and doing that for us. So, although Erin, hey, you want to send me a kickback? I won't complain. Okay, so we're going to do crescent rolls. So uh, crescent rolls and waffles. And you're going to see how not quite coordinated I am, but we're going to try. And I'm totally cheating, you guys. I am using... Just add water waffle mix. Um, I really am. Actually, I think for the waffles I have to add egg too, but it's just the mix. I'm not going crazy. Good to know. My Pampered Chef sheets have seen better days. Yeah, I really like these Costco ones. They're good. They're solid. They're in. If you go down the restaurant aisle, when they have all like the big chafing dishes and stuff, it's down there. So I'm going to grab, what do I need? I need some bowls. That would be helpful, huh? Let's get some bowls. So we're gonna get some bowls. I have this just on low, so it's starting to get warm. I don't know if you guys use uh, cast iron a lot, but it takes a long time to get heated all the way through. But once it does, it holds its temperature for a long time. I love it. I love it. My mother-in-law actually, I found this at, I don't remember if it was an estate sale or a garage sale or a thrift shop or something at one point. And I had it sitting in my garage, it was a mess. I had it sitting in my garage forever. And um, she offered to take it and re-season re it for me. She cleaned it and re-seasoned it, and it is now my absolute everyday pan. I adore it. So I'm just letting it heat up really slowly. And what did I need? Eggs. We're going to do eggs. Okay, so I'm going to get... Um, I'm not going to put cheese in my eggs. A lot of times I put cheese in my eggs, but since we're going to put cheese on the sandwich, on the crescent roll, I'm just going to put... I'm just going to do eggs in here. Um, sorry, I'm getting text messages. Okay, so I'm going to grab my handy dandy. Sorry if you can't see me. I'm not sure exactly where the frame is right now. I'm going to grab my handy dandy stick blender, another one of my favorite tools in the whole world. I really should get on the ball and like put Amazon links to these things for you guys, but I don't know. It's a lot to do at once, you know? So this, I adore this. This is like one of my favorite things ever. I use it to mix all the time. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put 18 eggs in here. We're gonna do that. You gonna count with me? Give me like like a preschool one egg. I won't do that. I'm sorry. That's really kind of annoying. So let's see. Oh, good to know. Hi, hi, Tammy. Who else is on here? I can see that we've got 821 viewers. Come on, say hi. Tell me. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you're doing. Do you have your natural hair color? Do you have a cool hair color? I've been seeing a lot of blue lately and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love it. When I was 17, I had hair all the way down past my waist. I had the hair that was so long that you had to, um, I had to kinda move it out of the way when you sit down on the toilet, otherwise it's gonna go in. That's how long my hair was. And I came home one day from a friend's house and I had dyed it like neon purple and I was terrified what my parents were gonna say and my parents thought it was hilarious so yay I have cool parents anyway I haven't done that in a long time because I do I don't know I just haven't well I know why because I haven't gotten gray yet <laughs> and I I dyed my hair blonde for years and years and when my second son was born I uh, I stopped dyeing it you know it was a money issue and I realized, I just assumed I had gone gray by then, or at least had a decent amount of gray, because my mom was an early gray, and my sister had gray. And I turned out I didn't have any, so I said to myself, well, I'm going to go gray really soon, so I'm just going to not dye it until I go gray. And that was almost 10 years ago, and I still haven't found any gray. So now it's kind of like a battle of wills. Who's going to who's gonna bend first, the gray hair or the hair dye? Like, ooh, am I going to cave because I really just wanted to do another hair color? I don't know. 
Anyway, I have a feeling I'm not seeing comments again because it's been on the same one for a very long time. So as soon as I'm done cracking these eggs, I'm going to peek at my desktop real quick, and I've got or my laptop that I've got sitting over here, and see if I can refresh these comments and see if you guys are saying anything. Hopefully, you guys can still see me. Um, all right, so that's 18 eggs. All right. And I can smell the waffle iron getting warmed up. You guys, this is going to take some serious coordination to do these both at once because I usually have at least a child helper helping me do this. And Aaron's not here. That's okay. I forgive you, Aaron. I still love you. Thank you for giving my fans that special. Okay. I'm going to... My favorite butter in the world, carrot gold. So good. A little pricey, but worth it in my mind. Anyway, you can use any kind of butter you want, though. But I like carrot gold, so we're going to use that tonight. So I'm just greasing the bottom. And my brilliant self just got some of the paper in it, so I'm going to pull that out. There it goes. Come on out. Okay. And then, let's see. I actually need to switch this plug because I wasn't thinking about the fact that I need more plugs. So we're going to do this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This and this. Come on. I can... I'm not savvy on the plug situation, clearly. We'll get there, though. One of these days I'll get it right. I always seem to be messing with it, though, in the middle of the show. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's back on. Is that on? That's back on. Okay, that's back on. We're going to plug in this one. Ooh. And, oh, gross. Nobody lick the cord. It's got raw egg, okay? Just don't. I mean, you shouldn't lick the cord anyway, right? That's kind of a no-brainer. Okay, so we're going to mix up these eggs, if I can get this plugged in. Oh, I'm so bummed. I can't see comments again. You guys, seriously, Facebook, what's going on? I thought they... Supposedly, they did a whole bunch of updates this week, yesterday specifically, and I was hoping that they had fixed the comment situation. What's weird, Aaron? I just got a weird comment from Aaron. Okay. And I like to do this for a little while so it beats some um, air into them and they get nice and fresh. these in here and I've got my pan I like to do my eggs low and slow because then I don't burn them so we're gonna do that and get those going and while those are going I'm gonna peek over here at my computer and try and figure out why I can't see them because it's super annoying and hopefully you guys can see me all right let's see what is going on let's see Okay, okay, here we go. Great for meats too. Oh, see, lots of people are commenting and I can't see it. That is so, so frustrating. Do I have any delicious recipes with blueberries that I can do a cooking show with? You know, it's funny, I almost did, because um, I've got the crescent rolls, we almost did a blueberry, like crescent roll, mini pie recipe tonight, and I thought, I've done so many desserts that I, you know, and people ask for breakfast specifically, so, um, but yeah, we can do that for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. Sorry. I'm <laughs> just thinking out loud. I'm so bummed I can't see the rolling comments though, and even on, on my computer, it's only giving me like one or two at a time, and I know that there are a lot more than that. So I'm trying to see... Sam Williams says he can't see anything. That's a bummer. Sorry, Sam. Try and refresh the screen a little bit. Cast iron skillet that you picked up at an estate sale. Yes, that's where I got it. The best place to get them. I agree, it is. And I love it because it's one of the old ones. Those of you who use cast iron will know what I'm talking about. The new ones are not stone ground, so they're bumpy, which is fine. They're still non-stick. They work. But I really love the old ones with the super, super smooth stone ground finish. Um, I just, 
I love him. I love this thing. Okay, so we're gonna get that going. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a smidge. And I'm gonna peek over here real quick. Great for meats too. Yes, the cast iron skillet is awesome for searing meats. I love it. And you can you can sear it on the stove top. Like I like to do my lamb in it and I'll sear it in it on the stove top and then cover it and stick the whole thing in the oven. So that's awesome. Yep, yep, yep. That butter is top notch, it really is. Yeah, the pan is a cast iron. Russ wants me to say hi. Hi Russ, how are you? Okay, I'm in beautiful, thank you. Okay, Kelly started to go gray at 19, I'm sorry. But you're very pretty, I know what you look like and you're very pretty, Kelly, so. Okay, plus you've got that fun red hair. I almost want to, I don't, I mean, I don't want to say this out loud because I'm gonna jinx myself, but I kind of almost want to go gray so I have an excuse to do some fun colors on my hair. Okay. Why aren't I prepared? I'm just not. This is real life. This is how we're doing it. Okay. So we're stirring our eggs. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. And while this is happening, I'm going to get our waffles started. Yay. Okay. Those are starting to cook. Awesome. 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 Awesome sauce. Do you guys use, do you guys use the rooster sauce? Sriracha? I use that. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I used that on my... We had uh, Japanese tonight. It was so good. You want to say hi? Yeah. Oh, see, Coley's up. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Yeah, are you going to have waffles tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, but not tonight, okay? Mama. You ready for none eggs? No. Why don't you go see Grandma, okay? Grandma. Yeah, go see Grandma. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now we're going to do our... Pancake mix, yay! And like I said, I'm just using the good old add water mix. If you've got a pancake mix you love or waffle mix you love, by all means use it. Um, but I don't. So I'm so bummed I can't see your comments. Ah! From Ohio here. Hi Teresa from Ohio. Hi Andrew. Hi Kelly. Hi, Ronald from Michigan. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And the point of the show is not show you so much how to cook things, but how we do things um, for Make Ahead Breakfast. People asked how I do Make Ahead Breakfast for my kids. Cause I have a bunch and I'm not a morning person. I don't like you to get up in the morning. And my husband, my husband does get up in the morning more often than I do. He's a load of a saint. But we make things easier by having food prepared. So today we're gonna do waffles and we're gonna do crescent roll breakfast sandwiches if my eggs ever start really cooking. Okay, so for waffles it says heat waffle iron. Check, waffle iron is heated. Combine two cups mix, one third cup water, one third cup oil in a bowl. So we're gonna triple that and we're gonna do six cups, um, four cups and one cup. We can do that. Okay, we're gonna blow it. Oh, hopefully this is a big enough bowl for that. That's a lot of food. And then we're going to get a mixing cup, or a measuring cup, I'm sorry. And it's all one cup, so we're going to do that. Hi, Charity. I love the format. I feel like I'm hanging out in the kitchen with me. Oh, thanks. That's kind of the idea. Um, it's not so much a boom, 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 wham, bam, thank you, man, here's how, here's how you make it thing. It's this is how we do it. We're going to do it together, and we're going to chat about it. And for those of you just tuning in, I know I'm supposed to say this more frequently, but I always forget. Please subscribe. Um, on Apple devices, it's usually up in the top right, so this area. On your PC, I'm not really sure. I think maybe in the comments, maybe on the, okay, so that's one. What did I say we're doing? Two cups mix. So we need six cups mix. Is that right? Yeah, six cups. One. Two. I have a feeling it's going to be the whole container, but was that one, two, or three? I think that's three. Four. We'll find out if the batter's too thick, right? Five. Yeah, I think we're going to, I think this is the whole box. <laughs> Five. Yeah. So, so there's six cups in a box. That's what we're going to do. Boom. Okay. And then we need... What did I say? One and a third cups times three is four cups. So four cups of water. 
excuse me, I'm going to get it out of my filtered water because our tap water tastes like chlorine here, which is totally unappealing. And while I'm over here, I'm going to peek at the comments. Oh my God, stick a sock in it. Hi, Greg. If you're not enjoying yourself, feel free to click away. I am not going to make you stay. One. Let's see who else. You are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Kelly Seuss is lucky. Seems like I'm just getting the same four comments over and over again over here. Two. I'm going to stir these eggs before they start burning. I'm going to go for three. Three. And one more water. And that's four. Okay, so four water, four cups of water, six cups of um, pancake mix, or whatever this all-purpose mix is, and then it calls for a cup of oil. So we'll grab that. And those of you who've watched me a few times know that I'm an olive oil girl, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Give me one second. You know, I definitely could be better prepared for the show. There is no doubt about that, and you guys all have your point. But then we wouldn't get to spend as much time together, and that's kind of the whole point of the show, for me anyway, is to spend time with you guys and get to know you and, um, you know, for you to see my face and see who's behind the, behind the lens sometimes. So, let's see. Lower that just a smidge. So we put our oil in, and now we're going to give it a good mix. Mix. Those of you just tuning in, um, last week I asked what folks would like to see us make, and I got a lot of people saying make ahead breakfasts. So that's what we're doing. We are doing waffles and ham, egg, and cheese, and sausage, egg, and cheese croissants. And for the croissants, we're just waiting on the eggs to finish cooking. We've got them on the stove top. They're getting there. I, uh, I went out to Target last night or the night before. And bought this handy dandy little burner that we can put on the counter so I don't have to turn away from you and go to the stove. Which is exciting. And you know, as I'm stirring this, I'm remembering that last time this batter was a little bit on the thick side. So I think we're going to add a touch more water. And tell me, you guys, if, um, if you're tra having trouble hearing me because I feel like my voice is going out a little bit. All right. And I'm going to peek over here just super quick at the comments and see if anything else has come up. I missed the beginning. What are you making? We're doing Make Ahead Breakfasts. Let's see. I see a TV show called The Real Cook. It is, this is very real. This is totally real life. This is, well, you saw my two-year-old just wander up, so. And I'm sure the dogs will start barking at some point. And my older boys are at a hockey game at a, the Solar Bears game tonight, and they're going to wander in at some point. So, yeah, this is, like, about as real as it gets. Yeah, this batter is really thick, so I'm going to go ahead and add about a cup more water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is good for two reasons. One, it means we're going to get a little bit more out of the batter. And two, it means it's a little easier to pour. So, I'm going to just add about a half a cup at a time more water. Let's see. Stephanie says I sound fine. Oh, good. Thank you, Stephanie. And speaking of Stephanie, you guys, on Tuesdays, I'm over at Stephanie's page, Spaceships and Laser Beams, which is really, really awesome. Um, she does, she posts all kinds of recipes and party advice and she's got a precious little six-year-old boy who inspires her, uh, her page. Lots of Lego stuff. She did Lego bath bombs the other day, which were super cool. And I'm not gonna lie, Steph, I might copy you on that one. We might do some bath bombs one of these days. I don't know that we'll do Lego, um, but we're gonna do some bath bombs at some point. All right, so that's a little better. Actually, no, I'm even gonna add a touch more water. And those of you who are really, really good at making pancakes are probably screaming at me through the screen going, ah, that's not how you thin pancakes. And I don't know, but my kids like it, so. Oh, we're going to stir our, stir our eggs. But they're starting to get stuck. And I'm not paying any attention to them. See, I told you this is going to be tricky. I usually have a helper in the kitchen when I do this many make-ahead things. Ooh, there we go. We're fine. Okay. So, 
if you can see, I don't know if you can see the bottom of my pan, we do have a little bit of stickage on the bottom. I did not use quite enough butter and I let it sit a little bit too long. It's not a big deal. I'm going to turn the heat down just a touch. If you guys have a cast iron pan and you need to clean it and you've got stuff stuck to it, the best way is to fill it with water and boil for a few minutes and the stuff will just come right off. Super easy. So don't freak out if you ever do that to your pan. And you don't need to completely re-season it or anything. Pick a few slices of bacon on it or if you, if you hold on to your bacon grease after you, which you should because it's so good to cook with, um, but if you hold on to your bacon grease or whatnot, just throw some in there and um, you know after you've cleaned all the egg out, it'll, it'll look kind of dry and almost whitish. Um, put it on low heat and let the, for about 10 minutes or so, and let the oil get in there and bond with the, with the metal again. And you'll be back to seasoned and non-stick in no time. No big deal. My husband actually soaked my pan in water overnight a few weeks ago, and I wanted to cry. But we're almost back to regular seasoning. We're almost, we're almost there. Water is not the friend of the cast iron. Neither is vinegar. So never wash yours with vinegar, unless you're trying to re-season it, in which case, soak it in vinegar. All right. Shelly's in Tennessee. Salt cleans them. Yes, salt is a very good erasive. And I would, but I would use the salt after I had boiled some water in it if there was still maybe a little bit of stickage. So I'm going to turn this down to low because we're almost done with that. And then I'm going to come around here and hopefully you can still see me. I'm going to try and do like a sideways view. And we're going to pour some waffles. Yay! And it's very hot. Oh, I'm going to get my misto. Do you guys remember that from the other day? My oil sprayer. I love this thing. I love it, love it, love it. All right. So my misto, it's just olive oil in there. I'm going to pump it a few times, and then I'm going to spray my it's supposedly non-stick, but I'm always skeptical of these things. So can you guys see? I'm, gonna give it a, I'm giving it a good spray. Let's do one more pump. Hi. spray and I have found and I've only used this a handful of times because it is new but I found and this was true with my old one you only need to spray it usually the first time and then at the first waffle and then after that it seems to do okay but I find if I don't spray it with the first waffle then I tend to have trouble so I'm gonna just pour it in nothing exciting if anyone's made if you guys have made waffles before this is regular and mix we're just doing this what, we, what I do is I make an entire package real life guys, real life. Okay, I'm going to spread it out. Keep spreading, come on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to close that. It's going to turn green when it's ready for me to take it out. In the meantime, our eggs are about done. Yay! Super exciting. Can you guys see? I'm going to scoot it. Hopefully not burn myself. Yeah, that's hot. I'm not going to scoot it. I'm going to go get oven mitts and then I'll scoot it. Um, but our eggs are done, so that's exciting. Actually, I'm not going to get oven mitts. I'm going to just take that off. I'm going to get a hot plate, though. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay, I lied. I'm getting oven mitts. Because that probably would be the smart thing to do. Okay. So, we've got our eggs are done. Yay. I'm going to scoot these over here. I'm going to unplug this hot plate so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to scoot it over the, out of the way. Again, so I don't burn myself. Stepped on a bead. My daughter is into beading necklaces lately. And her two-year-old brother likes to throw them on the floor whenever he gets the chance. And if you've ever stepped on a Lego, it's a similar feeling. Remarkably unpleasant. So, all right. Yay. So the eggs are done. We've got our sheet pan. I'm going to grab the crescent roll. Those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Thank you for joining us if it's your first time. Please subscribe. If it's your second time and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There should be a button over here if you're on uh, Facebook. If you're on Android, it'll be in the comments. I don't know if the comments are here or here. Just, I guess, it depends on where you are. And on 
on a, on a laptop or a desktop computer, it should be somewhere in the frame. I've heard reports of all over. I think it depends on what browser you're in. And supposedly Firefox, the Firefox um, doesn't even have one most of the time. So, the Firefox. Sorry, Chrome does have one though. So if you use Chrome and Internet Explorer, I believe they do. So I'm gonna grab my crescent rolls. And guys, if you're savvy in the kitchen, you are welcome to use from scratch stuff. You're welcome to use from scratch waffle mix and from scratch um, crescent roll mix. I think I would applaud you. That is impressive. I'm in awe of you. Okay, let's make sure we've got the oven preheated correctly. 350. Awesome. That's what we're at. Okay. So I'm going to actually, now I'm going to grab all our other ingredients out too, so I'm not back and forth. Since apparently that's annoying people. Sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I got ham and I got breakfast sausage to do in them because those are what my kids like. Uh, this is, you could do bacon too. We've done bacon before. There's just extra water. And if you guys notice that the green light comes on before I do, give me a holler. And then I've got Johnson sausage links. Hi, sweetie. You gotta put on some clothes if you're gonna come on camera, okay? No, she's not. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it's fine. Okay, so we've got those, we've got those. Oh, cheese, let's put some cheese on these. And some sliced American cheese. Awesome, so we're gonna do this. And my mother-in-law had a really great idea to go ahead and slice the crescent rolls in half. Um, Cause my kids are young, my oldest is nine, my youngest is two, so they don't necessarily, they won't necessarily eat um, the whole thing. And I'm missing, where's the edge? Isn't there usually an edge on this? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to peek at the comments super quick while we're in the middle. Okay. I, gotta, I guess i got to refresh it. Have to refresh it. Ooh, grammar, April. Grammar. So tell me what you guys do. What do you spend your days doing? Do you stay at home with your kids? Do you, oh, do you get to go to work? Ooh, that's exciting. Do you... Do something else? I don't know. Tell me what you do. I'm curious. I live vicariously through you guys. I work from home. I work for myself, which is awesome. Except that I really don't have any colleagues. So, I mean, I have colleagues on the internet. Stephanie, for one, is an awesome colleague. Um, but, you know, it's not the same as sitting across the cubicle from someone or getting to meet at the water cooler. It's just not. Because she's in Canada and I'm in Florida. So... Although we did get to meet once, and that was fun. That was very exciting. Okay. Whew. Sorry, guys. I'm chatty, and I am... Um... Okay. Oh, we just refreshed. Let's see if I can see any comments. Hi, hi. Can you see me over here? Sorry. I'm going to disappear from you, but I also do want to see if you're trying to sell me something. Okay. The waffles are ready. Thank you. Good. Good timing. Ooh. Ooh, they look perfect. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, we're going to get our cooling racks. Oh, ooh, that is caught in the necklace. Green light. Thank you, Erin. Erin just texted me because she knows I can't see the comments very well. Okay, so we're going to yank. Oh, that's my piece of paper that keeps getting caught in everything. Yank these out. Yay, waffle number one. Well, actually, waffle one through four because it makes four waffles, which is exciting. And then we're going to get our next one started. You know, I've been seeing people who um, put bacon, they'll put a, like a layer down and they'll put slices of bacon and then um, put another layer of batter over it and cook it that way. I haven't tried it. I like my bacon just as bacon personally, but I thought it was kind of a cool idea. Let's spread that to the edges. Okay. Have you guys tried that? When I saw someone do that, like as pancakes, I think they call them bacon dippers. Actually, I think we posted it on the page earlier, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there we go. Those are getting going. And get our crescent rolls out. I'm making grilled cheese right now. Yum, Robin. That's one of my favorites. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Are you having tomato soup too, or just grilled cheese? Both of them are delicious. Um, Preschool teacher, awesome. ESE teacher, awesome. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Emma. Thank you so much for letting me know the green light came on. I really, really, really appreciate that. 
stay-at-home mom just started a screen printing business. Carrie, that's really awesome. Uh, feel free to post a link to it if you've got a website. Tell us all where to buy your screen printed items. Uh, making my daughter a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ooh, that sounds good. I've never grilled my peanut butter and jelly. I like that idea, though. Okay. I'm wondering if it'll be too hard to stuff them if I do them in half, though, because they're not huge to begin with. So I'm thinking we're not going to do them in half. I love the idea in theory, but I'm worried that it's not going to work. And I don't want to have a major fail on TV. We've already had a few fails on, I keep saying TV, on Facebook. We've had a few fails. Did you see me the other day when I was using my electric mixer and got my fork too close and we went, it was, that was embarrassing. And I'm telling you about it now, but it was, it was really embarrassing. Who gave this girl a cooking show? I know, right? I'm not even really cooking. I'm just kind of making. But that's okay. We're having fun, right? Have you guys been to my website yet? I put the link to what we're doing, kind of what we're doing. The link I put is um, ham and cheese crescent roll-ups, but we're adding egg because it's for breakfast. But it's the same idea. And again, let me know when the green light comes on. Please, please, please. So I've just got American cheese, and you can use any kind of cheese you like. And I'm not going to put a lot because it drips out the edges if you put too much. So I'm going to tear this in fourths. And one. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Two, three, four. And each crescent package comes with eight crescents. And then I was, so I was going to do, well, if we're being honest, I was planning on doing 32 until I realized that I bought two packages of crescents, not four. Oops. Which is part of the reason we're doing the waffles, because I didn't buy as many crescents as I thought I did. Again, real life. Oops. So, tell me how many kids you have. Do you homeschool? Do you send them to school? Private school? Public school? What grades are they in? Are you guys ready for summer? I'm ready for summer. We homeschool, and we do homeschool throughout the year. We actually don't stop schooling, but we go easier on the electives in the summer. So I teach a social studies class during the year and I don't teach that in the summer. And it's just a little bit more relaxed. And my teacher friends are home, which I love. We get to spend more time with them. So, yeah. Sorry guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do the sausage ones first. Yay, yummy. Then I just chose, um, oh, I chose these ones because they say they're maple syrup flavored. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Have you guys tried them? I haven't tried them yet. Hopefully they're good. My fiance, your Marianne's fiance loves waffles. Um, because they're delicious. Oh, uh, my favorite waffles have chocolate chips in them, but that's okay. All waffles are good. Dump these onto it. I'm going to, I'm going to put these on a plate and I'm actually going to cut them in half. So that the stuffing is an overfill. And we're gonna, and those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We do a little cooking show every Tuesday at Spaceships and Laser Beams. You can find us here though, because I do share it, so you should be able to find it here or Spaceships and Laser Beams. And I do one uh, here, which is also shared to Spaceships and Laser Beams. And I know that's a little bit confusing sounding, but anyway, long story short, I do a cooking show Tuesdays and Thursdays. 8.30 p.m. Eastern, so if you can see, I'm just going to place at the top of the, on the wide part of the crescent, not the small part, because you're going to roll the wide part first. I'm placing a half of a, these are pre-cooked, so make sure if you're doing this with the crescents, you get pre-cooked, because you're not going to cook the crescents long enough to cook the meat inside. You're, it'll be enough to warm it, so if you were going to serve it right away, that would be fine, but it's not enough to actually cook through and get the meat. Anyway, so we're here Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. If you hit the subscribe button, um, you will get a notification. Excuse me. My goodness. You'll get a notification. Oh, we're green. We're green. Yay. Okay. All right. I'm going to grab these. You'll get a notification when I come on live. It'll just, it'll be a little pop-up at the top of your screen if you happen to be on Facebook. And it'll say, hey, Mama Loves Food is on live. Would you like to watch? Um, and I'd love if you went ahead and subscribed so that you knew where we were. I don't get a prize if you subscribe or anything. It just, you know, it's nice. I don't even know if you do. No, Facebook doesn't tell me if you subscribe. I'm just hoping people do. Anyway, so if you could subscribe here and then also at uh, Spaceships and Laser Beams, then you'd be able to see whenever I come on. And Stephanie does other things on her page, too. 
she does um, she does some cooking and kids crafts of her own. She did Lego Lego bath bombs last week and peanut. I, I might I might mess this up. Stephanie, tell me if I'm wrong. I believe peanut butter energy bites. And here on Tuesday we did. Ooh, I might have overfilled that a little bit. On Tuesday we did baked donuts, cake mix baked donuts. So I'm just going to take a blob of egg and put it on each one. Not too big, you don't have to be too big. On a blob. And somebody you guys are probably wondering why on earth I made 18 eggs cuz I don't I won't need 18 eggs for this recipe. But um, my kids will eat it, so I made it ahead cuz we're making make ahead breakfast. So um, yeah, they'll eat just the eggs too. So there we go. So yeah, so I do a cooking show here and on Stephanie's page, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I also try to pop on during the week with the kids and do a kids craft. And yesterday, we did it Wednesday, so yesterday we made Play-Doh and the week before we made Gak, which is that slime and it was a lot of fun. Play-Doh is a lot of fun too, for being honest. We made scented Play-Doh. So all I'm doing, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm trying to, I, want, I don't wanna. Okay, so there we go. Everything's piled on the side that's wide because that's where we're gonna roll first. And then you start at the fat side and you roll down to the skinny side. And it does not have to be perfect, but just try to get as much of it in as you can. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It's beautiful because it's food. And then I like to, you don't have to, but I actually like to fold the tops over so it kind of stays in even more. So it almost looks like a little dumpling-ish. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And I'm going to do that with each of these. And then we're going to pop them in the oven and do another pan full. Yay, exciting. And while we're doing that, we're making our waffles. There we go. Two done. A billion more to go. All right. And I'm going to peek at... Don't worry about failing. It just shows that you're human. I am very human. 100%. Definitely no robot, robot here. <laughs> All right. I agree though, perfection is overrated. I want to be good, not perfect. Okay, great. And I hope you enjoy this. And again, I'm ap super apologetic that I can't see your comments in real time. Uh, like I said, Facebook is rolling out all kinds of improvements with this. This is a really new platform, as I'm sure you know, because we've only been doing this a month. We haven't even been doing this a full month. I think this is week three. And it's only been out for four weeks. So um, we're really, really early on this and it's still a tiny bit glitchy, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, we're just rolling these up. Hopefully you can have a, a little bit of a view of what I'm doing. I heard that you can get like a wide angle lens for the camera so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Um, but I'm worried that that would make me look like all warped and fish-eyed. So we're just gonna have to make do for now. I was thinking about maybe at some point, if you guys keep subscribing and keep coming back, maybe getting like a, I think the iPad probably has a better camera on it. I've got like the ancient iPhone. I can't believe, honestly, I can't believe it even works on my iPhone because it's like six generations ago or something. It was the first one with the selfie cam on it. So, okay. So we've got our little crescent dumpling whatever you want to call them. They're not pretty, but they're they're tasty. So all wrapped up. You don't have to get them perfect. If you can, you can see there's holes in mine here and there. And I'm going to go ahead and put these. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some parchment paper down. Um, I don't want them to stick. I don't think they will because crescents are super, super full of butter. And I haven't had that problem in the past. But this is live, so this would be the time it did happen if it was going to happen, right? So, there we go. I'm going to put, I've got this other, I've got another sheet in right here, and I'm just going to transfer these onto the ones with the parchment paper. And, I'm um, sorry, my babysitter's texting me. You guys, you guys, I'm about to lose my babysitters. I've had them forever since they were in high school, since they, oh my gosh, I think I've had my, my, one of my babysitters since she was in middle school. And they are graduating college this year, and it's, I, I'm, like, I'm not, I'm in mourning, I'm in shock, I'm in, it's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. 
Now I need a glass of wine because I thought about that. It makes me upset. Okay. So there we go. It's on parchment paper and we're going to put it in the oven at 350 for, dun, 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 dun. it says 14 to 16 minutes. So I'm going to put 12 and we're going to check on it at that point. Okay. So I'm just going to scoot around here. Excuse me for a moment. I'm setting the timer for 12 minutes. One, two, zero, zero, start. Okay. Those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food, and we are doing some make-ahead breakfast. Last week when we were on, I asked you guys what you'd like to see, and several of you said make-ahead breakfasts. I don't know. Maybe it's because I have five kids and you figured I'd know how to do those, which you do, clearly, because we make them. Oh, we're green again. Yay. Okay. Let's double up on those. Oh, those are so pretty, you guys. I Freaking love waffles. Do you freaking love waffles? Because I do. All right. Yay, waffles. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. And we're going to do this. All right. I'm not going to talk much while I do this because I overfilled it a little bit last time and I don't want to burn myself. And it's just something I would do. So, excuse me while I'm quiet for a brief moment. I'm sorry that you're getting. <laughs> It's basically a panoramic view of my rear. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, almost done, almost done. Awesome. And I know my mother-in-law is going to watch this later. Well, I think she is anyway. So I'm going to say a shout out. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Mom, so much for watching the kids while I do this. Normally they're in bed, but they're upset and a little bit jealous that their older brothers got to go to a hockey game tonight, so we let them stay up. Boom. Okay. Second set of crescents. So we've got waffles. I just used a regular add water mix, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to freeze them or put them in the fridge, depending on who wants what one. And they can just grab them out when they're done, when they're ready, when they're hungry. And now we're doing, we've got one set of crescents in the oven <laughs> and we're gonna do the second set now and the first set we did with these really amazing smelling which I haven't tried admittedly I haven't tried but I these smell so good maple syrup sausages which I've never seen at the market before so I mean I'm one of those people well you see me I'm on Facebook live like as soon as oof, as soon as it came out so I'm one of these people that like ooh, something new I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it right now so we're doing it we're doing it we're doing it we're doing it Okay, so you got a crescent roll I'm gonna take a sip of water and I'm gonna peek at the comments and do a quick share just to remind people that we're on. I'm gonna see what you guys are saying to me. Can you see me? Hi, I'm leaning over here. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's warm in here. I've got like 16 lights on. It is so bright in here but if I don't turn 16 lights on it gets dark and you guys can't see me very well and that wouldn't be any fun so sorry just real quick I'm gonna do this okay let's see Danielle says hi Hi, Andrew. Hi, Christina. Waffles are so good when they're crunchy. I agree. I like them a little bit crunchy on the edges. They're good. They're really good anyway, if you ask me. Kind of like bacon. Yeah, I prefer it crunchy, but I'll never turn down bacon. I am so thirsty, you guys. Wow. It's hot in here. Okay, so for the second set, my husband requested ham. So we're doing ham. And like I said, I had planned on doing a whole bunch more than these, but... Apparently I can't count. I thought I bought four packages at the grocery store and I only bought two. Although watch, I probably did buy four and they're like buried in the bottom of my refrigerator and I'll notice them like two weeks after they've expired. That would be par for the course for me. Do you guys do that? <sighs> okay, so those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. It's been a while, so let's go ahead and go over the uh, FAQs again. I, my most frequently asked question is about my necklace. It's a diffuser necklace. 
I've got grapefruit oil in it because I'm kind of grapefruit obsessed if you've been watching me the past I think we've done eight shows now seven or eight shows I'm wearing grapefruit pretty much every time I think every time I might have had mint in there once I'm a grapefruit person although my girlfriend Erin who's the one that sells these and sold me this one um, just gave me orange today so we're gonna switch up the citrus tomorrow so on Tuesday when we see each other again go ahead and ask me if, if I'm still wearing grapefruit or if I've managed to switch it up <laughs> and Erin uh, said she was doing a special for my readers because we got so many questions about the necklace and where to buy it and how to get it um, Erin, I believe, is putting up a special, and if you scroll to the comments, if she's still on, maybe she'll go ahead and put another link to it. Um, but she's having a Mama Loves Food special on this necklace that I love. Seriously, it's like the only thing I wear. Um, yeah, so if you want them, that's where you get it. I don't know what she's charging. I don't remember what she charged me. 20-ish, maybe? I don't know. Erin, what'd you charge me? Anyway. Oh, oh, we're great again, we're great again. Oh, see, I need these comments to come back so you can tell me when it's green and I'm not screwing up my waffles. Oh, they look so good. They smell amazing. I'm going to scoot these over. Scoot these over. I think we've got one more waffle out of the batch. Or one more, four waffles. Ah, that's hot. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I'm saying this facetiously, but my husband loves when I do these shows because Ooh, he gets so much to do when he gets home. So many dishes. Keeps him nice and busy. <laughs> Just kidding. He's amazing. He does all my dishes. Seriously, guys. Thank you, Wesley. I really appreciate that you do all my dishes. Okay. Alright. We're running low on butter. We're going to have like a gimpy kind of I should have <laughs> I should have just poured it into one fourth so I had one square of waffle but I went ahead and poured it in the middle so I'm gonna have like thirds fourth four thirds of waffles but that's okay it'll still taste good and that's what else. so last waffle is on its way and we're working on our second batch of crescents oh when my battery and my computer is running low and I'm out of outlets so I might lose the computer what are we at? We're at an hour. Okay, so we gotta, I guess I gotta put a rush on this because, um, yeah, Facebook kicks me off at 90 minutes. Did you know that? We've actually not made it to the 90 minute point. I think we've made it within like three or four minutes of the 90 minutes point. I'm kind of terrified. I don't want to get kicked off by Facebook. I don't want the gong, like, bong, you're gone. With the hook, remember the hook? Pulling off stage. I feel like I'm gonna get a giant Facebook hook. Okay. Where are you going to culinary school at? I don't go to culinary school. I don't. I am a self-taught mama cook, which is why my food is pretty easy. It's all very basic. Um, my website, mamalovesfood.com. I'd love if you checked it out. It's all family-friendly, easy foods. Keeping it real. I didn't learn to cook until, so, okay, so I just put, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're making Make Ahead Crescents, breakfast crescents, so I just put, I lead out the crescents, and you always put your food, your, your, your stuffings, or whatever you want to call them, on the, on the wider end, so I just put a fourth of a slice of American cheese, and then earlier, oh, that's still really hot, well, not too hot, okay, earlier we made eggs on our handy dandy little hot, hot plate, and so I'm just going to do, oops. I'm just gonna do oh my gosh did you hear me burp I'm sorry that was gross um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of egg on each one and we actually made an entire 18 thing of egg 18 thing of eggs I don't know is there it's a dozen plus six a dozen and a half dozen eggs um, because my kids eat a ton of eggs so I will package those separately so that tomorrow when they get up in the morning if they want eggs they can grab some out of there and and reheat them in the microwave if they want. Or if we're being honest, my kids actually eat a lot of cold food. They get that from my husband who likes his food cold and I find that really, really strange because I like my food warm. Um, but hey, it makes it easier for me, right? So I should not be complaining. I'm not complaining, I just find it a little odd. Okay, so we've got our egg. 
Dun, 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 dun. And our first batch we did sausage. And this batch we're going to do ham. So I'm going to grab a piece of ham out for each of these. And I'm going to fold it. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry. I'm going to fold it in fourths. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to place it up at the top. In a little fan shape with the... There we go. With the top of the V up at the wider part of the of the crescent. <clears throat> and I really feel like my voice is going, so if you need to tell me to speak up, tell me to speak up. And Aaron can text me if, if I'm being too quiet. Um, okay, so I'm actually switching the lay the order. I'm realizing now that it's not you should do the flat things and then the egg on top, so I'm sticking the ham under the egg. And I'll lift it up and show you in just a second. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and see if there's any new comments, which I'm hoping there are. Hoping you guys are saying hello. And at the end, assuming we have time, assuming hasn't face, Facebook hasn't gonged me, um, I will go ahead and I'll scroll through. God, my battery is very low, it's telling me. Uh, I will go ahead and scroll through and answer. Am I green? I'm green. Thank you. Ah, there we go. <laughs> this is a weird looking waffle. That's okay. There's my last funny looking waffle, but it'll taste good, so that's what counts. Okay, the waffles are done. The waffles are done. That in and of itself means I don't have to get up early tomorrow, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I've got a troll. Andrew's a troll. Hi, troll. Do you live under a bridge? Um, Andrew, awesome. And a great offer. You're doing great. I don't see a troll. Am I just missing it? Well, uh, Kelly, if you're on, Kelly is my assistant. And she will post as me sometimes. Um, so I'm going to tell you, Kelly, if you're on and watching and you see a troll, click on their comment and we'll give you the option to ban them because we don't like trolls. Sorry. This is a happy place. This is not a troll. This is a troll free zone. Anyway, okay. So, oh, I'm going to, oh, I did unplug it. Oop. Yay, did you see that? I did that without even having to remember. It's like automatic. Okay, so we're putting our ham. Oh, did you hear that? That's the timer, my singing timer. Um, I'm going to go check those. We did put those in. I timed it for two minutes short of what it recommended, so I'm going to peek at those. Um, and they are not done, so, which we knew they probably wouldn't be, but, you know. I always find that it's better to check early and... I need to add more time than to check too late and have some burnt food because while there are some burned foods I like, most of which I don't. Very few of which I like, if we're being honest. Bacon's about the only thing that I like just about burned. And then, okay, we're almost done with these, which is perfect timing because the other ones will come out just as these go in. Okay, I'm going to peek at my computer one more time. Ooh, my computer just died. Oops, sorry. Oh, we've got one more. I missed one. I'm going to roll these up. So, I'm super bummed, you guys. I'm sorry. I know I really, I'm kind of talking to myself the whole time because I'm just, I'm not getting comments. We seem to have this problem in the evenings. When I, when I go on live during the day, I almost always am able to see the comments, but... When I come on in the evenings, I don't know if it's a bandwidth problem for me or Facebook, maybe because everybody's on Facebook in the evenings, but I, I only get comments about, normally I say 50% of the time, but it seems like it's less than that these days. And I was trying to watch my comments on my laptop over here, but it's not plugged in, so it just died on me. And in a second, when I <clears throat> switch these in the oven, I will go ahead and grab the cord and plug it in. Hi, sweetheart. My daughter just came out. You are up awfully late. Good gravy. Hi. You want to come say hi? Careful. It's hot up here. Do you want to come say hi? Come here. Oh, I got it. This is my daughter, Josie. Say hi. Mm -hmm. We're making we made eggs, and we made crescent roll sandwiches, and we made waffles. What are the waffles going to be on? What are they going to be on? I'm going to put them in a bag, and they're going to sit on the counter so you guys can have them in the morning. Or we're going to put some in the freezer so we can have them later. 
I hear the crescent bubble. Should we check on it? Uh oh, are you supposed to be brushing your teeth? Yeah. Go brush them. You can come back and say hi again in a minute. Okay. I'm going to call it and say we need like one more minute because I don't want them to be soggy on the bottom. Um, that's just really unappealing when things are soggy on the bottom. Well, since we've got egg in there, we run the risk of that. So I'm going to go. Let's see. Where's my laptop cord? All right, well, we might be flying blind for a while. That's a bummer. Okay, so I'm gonna finish rolling these up. And those of you who are just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. I write the food blog, mamalovesfood.com. I've been doing it since 2008, so I've been around, <laughs> it's kind of like a dinosaur in, in um, blogging years, man an early adopter, which is true still, as you can see, because I'm on Facebook and uh, Facebook Live and this thing is brand new. I like to uh, I like to try things out. And we appear here. I do this cooking show on Tuesdays and Thursdays here and at Spaceships and Laser Beams, which is also a cooking and food site. I'm going to grab another piece of parchment paper for these. Tonight, uh, we're doing Make Ahead Breakfast. Last week when we were on... I asked at the end of the show, I asked what kind of what kind of cooking things you guys would like to see. Last week we made we made um, chocolate bark. We made an Easter, not Easter, but a spring chocolate bar. Okay. There's my daughter. Why do you call me daughter? You are my daughter. Um, we made a spring chocolate bark. It was yummy. We made dark mm -hmm. chocolate on the bottom and white chocolate on top. We decorated it with no honey. You just you're, no, no, nope, not today. They're sticky. I can hear my timer singing to me, so I'm gonna check those in just a second. Anyway, so at the end of the show, I asked what you guys would like to see, and several people what said, that? "What is what?" That. that is a hot plate. We used it to cook our eggs. How? Well, we plugged it in, and it's like a little bitty burner, and you can cook on it. Is that neat? Anyway, so a lot of people asked about Make Ahead Breakfast. So today we did Make Ahead, we did crescent rolls stuffed, one of them stuffed with sausage, egg, and cheese. And this is crescent rolls stuffed with ham and cheese and egg. And then we made a giant pile, can you see that? A giant pile of waffles. Ooh, I almost lost the waffles there. I really there we go. want to cook crochet. Well, we're just about done, sweetie. I know you want to cook, but it's, it's um, getting toward bedtime and grandma's peeking around the corner giving you the eye. She's saying, Josie, it's bedtime. Right. I think these are done, guys. I'm going to grab my oven mitt. And we're going to scoot this now dead computer out of the way, since it's not doing us any good. Are we going to so eat these in the room. morning? Yes, that's breakfast. Does that sound good? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. sausage. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, there's those ones are ham. You like ham, right? Which one? These ones. This whole tray is ham and egg and cheese. Do you like ham and egg and cheese? Uh-huh. Do you like waffles? Alright, these are perfect, you guys. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah, watch your fingers. Move your fingers away. Actually, I'm going to go right over your head. Alright, look at that, guys. Don't they look kind of like dumplings? And they're stuffed with sausage and egg and cheese. And I apologize. I'll bring them up again in a second. I can see it says my connection is weak, so you probably aren't getting a good um, a good view of those, unfortunately. But I will, when the connection comes back in a second, which it will, uh, knock on wood, um, I'll bring them back up to the camera so you can see. And these are our ham, egg, and cheese ones, and I'm going to stick those in the oven now. And they take about, we figured, I think those were in 16 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and since we've already checked it and timed it, we're just going to go on a wing and a prayer and say 16 minutes. It's not so much a wing and a prayer as an educated guess, I guess, but. And we're going to do that. So, hi, 1.6 thousand viewers. That's what? really exciting, guys. I hope you are, what's up, sweetheart? What's, 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 what's breakfast? 
Yes, those are breakfast sausages you can have with breakfast. Sound good? Donuts. Oh, we've still got donuts from Tuesday when we came on. We did. Sorry, boobies everywhere. But mommy. Um. Yes. Dad gives us some for breakfast. Yes, for Daddy breakfast. lets you have some for, for breakfast. We made. Them for breakfast too. You want them for breakfast too? We'll see. Uh, we made, we made strawberry donuts. We made strawberry cake mix donuts on Tuesday, and I made a really <laughs> giant batch. So my kids are working their way through those. In the morning, it's very exciting. Okay, give me a kiss. Come on. Oh, I told you it was hot. Watch out. Why? Why is it hot? Because it just came out of the oven. Or why do you have to go? Because it's late. It's bedtime. Don't do this. What's the matter? You don't have to be in bed. Grab an eye. Grab, grab a book or something. Lay on the couch. It's fine. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Real life here. Truly and really happening. That was my four-year-old daughter, Josie, who is sad because her brothers got to go to a an ice hockey game tonight with their friends. And they all share a room. They have We have four bunk beds in there. And she doesn't want to go in and sleep by herself with no boys in the room. No big brothers to protect her. So anyway, she's angling to stay out here and cook with us. But it's getting late, so she's going to chill on the couch for a while. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start putting these things away. And actually, you know what? I think I know where my laptop... What's the matter, sweet? Oh, you've got a book. Oh, she's got a snake book. Exciting. I think I know where my laptop cord is. So if you will excuse me uh, for like less than a minute, I'm going to sneak out and I'm going to sneak back and see if we can't get some comments going. Josie and I like I, I sleep in my bed a little with mom a little bit. Did you say hi? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. You can go sit down. Okay. Sorry guys. I found it. I found it. Yay. So we can we can chat again. La -la -la. And we've got so for those of you who are just tuning in to my little bit of a disaster of a show tonight. Sorry. Um we made, we did make ahead breakfasts because I have five kids and I don't like getting up in the morning and five kids want to eat in the morning. Um, so we do a lot of make ahead breakfast stuff. The other day we did donuts, which isn't really so much a breakfast as a treat, but, and then today we're doing, we did crescent roll muffins, uh, stuffed with crescent rolls, stuffed with, we did a batch. Here we go. Sorry. I'm going to bring it to the camera for you so you can see. This is the batch stuffed with breakfast sausage, egg, and American cheese. And then I've got another batch in the oven stuffed with just ham and um, ham and egg and American cheese. And then I did an extra big batch of eggs because my kids will eat those too. And hopefully my computer will come back on in a second. There it goes. We drained the battery completely. I didn't even realize how low we are. And we did a giant batch of waffles, and they're not, um, we just did regular, you know, store brand kind of biscuit type of thing. And you're welcome, obviously, to use if you've got a good recipe for waffles, go for it, but I don't. So we just did that, and I will, I'll freeze half of those, and then on the other half, I'll go ahead and put on the counter or in the fridge and what I do is I put a little note in the morning out for the kids and I'll say good morning I love you I always start out with that I don't know why I say good morning I love you and then I tell them what's available you know if, if I didn't make anything ahead I'll tell them to raid the cereal cabinet if I did make things ahead I will tell them what's where you know so tonight I will say there are crescent roll breakfast sandwiches in the fridge and you can heat them up in the microwave I will say there are waffles, and I believe I bought whipped cream, so I will tell them they can use a little bit of whipped cream on those. And I will say they're very good about it because they know if they use a lot of whipped cream, they're not going to get it next time. So they are actually very good about that. So I've got my 
eggs. My two year old will be so excited about that because he's an egg fanatic. So we've got our eggs, and then I'm gonna go ahead and Ziploc our, oops, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and Ziploc our waffles, which we've had cooling over here. Yay, look at all, isn't that beautiful? Look at all those waffles. And I'm gonna go ahead and parse them out into fourths, so my kids um, take one at a time, because we've got a lot of waffle fanatics in our house. And if I don't do that, they'll grab a giant one and say, oh, but I just had one, Mom. I just had one. Meaning four, because it's four. Let's see. My computer doesn't love me today. We had a similar problem last week. I don't know if you guys recall. It says I'm connected to the Internet. Let's see. We'll get it going. We'll get it going just in time for Facebook to boot me. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We have less than ten minutes until I get the Facebook gong. I don't know, maybe that should be a goal, right? Go until the bitter end, till Facebook says, no more, you have tired everyone out of your show. Anyway, for those of you just tuning in, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Oh, you know what I started when I realized, I think it was when I realized my, my computer had died. It started to go through the FAQs again. And I'll start with the most frequent question I get is my necklace. It's a diffuser necklace with grapefruit in it today. I almost always have grapefruit in it. And I got it from Siren Sisters Elixirs, which is a shop that my friend owns on Etsy. It's a small shop. And she's actually, I've gotten so many questions about my necklace that she offered to run a Mama Loves Food special. So I believe she put in the comments, oops, sorry, I shouldn't wave a knife around. I believe she put somewhere in the comments, I don't know where your comments are, they down here, over here for me, maybe over here for you. Anyway, she wrote in the comments somewhere where to get that special. She's putting them on sale for you guys tonight. Special. Super exciting. And um, the other question I get all the time is uh, my sink. My sink is the next most common question, although right now it's full of dishes, so it's probably not nearly as exciting. But my sink is from Ikea. I love it. I love it. I've had it almost four years now, and it's definitely one of my favorite parts of the kitchen. It's white. It's kind of a pain to keep clean, but it's worth it. A little soft scrub and a toothbrush, and it comes shiny as new. Aunt Becky taught me that. Thanks Aunt Becky. Um, growing on the windowsill is basil, green onion, and aloe. And hopefully mint in a few days because I keep meaning to go over to the nursery and get a get a mint plant so we can do some um, some drinks with mint in them. Yum. Let's see what else. Um, oh in the mason jar is just uh, dish pellets for the dishwasher. The flowers are from my hubby. Yay! Go hubby! And the island is also from Ikea. It's just one of these like movable islands. What else? What else? Oh, I get asked about my shirt a lot. I tend to wear the same shirt every time. Different colors. I'm a creature of habit. When I find something I like, I buy it in every color. So I literally have about a half a dozen or more of these shirts in every color. So I think I've worn them in about half or more of my shows. <laughs> anyway, it's from Target, the clearance section, so they're probably not available anymore. But if you wanted to look, that's where I got them. All right. Oh, I get a, a ton of questions about my lipstick. Uh, my lipstick color is it's Maybelline 24, like 24 hours. And it does last pretty darn close to 24 hours. I don't know. I wouldn't say full 24 hours, but I'd say close. Um, and the color is very persistent. A little bit tongue in cheek there, a little bit punny. Okay, so we've got one gallon bag full of waffles. And we're gonna do a second. Yay, this is so exciting. Not gonna have to get up early in the morning. Yay. Yeah, I don't have to get up early. That's my daughter in the background chatting with me. I don't have to get up. No, I don't have to because I made breakfast ahead of time. So you guys can get it out yourselves. And I can sleep. And Dad can sleep. And Grandma can sleep. Awesome. We've still got six minutes on the, on the crescent rolls. That's okay. All right. Yay. Okay, two gallon bags full of waffles. Fantastic. 
really, really fantastic. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. In real life, I have a mouth like a sailor. You hurt your finger, uh-oh. Do you want a piece of ice? No, do you wanna run it under some cold water? No, do you wanna go let me, let me give it a kiss? No, you just wanna whine about it? No. Anyway, yeah, I've got a, a mouth of like a trucker. It's really bad. Um, and it takes a lot of willpower. <gasps> oh, four minutes and 56 seconds and they're ending our live video. You guys, I don't think we're gonna see the end, the second. We've got five minutes and 10 seconds until the crescents come out. So you're just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and show you these again and we're gonna pretend oops, that it's the second batch of crescents. Oh, look, aren't they beautiful? I'm super excited about these. And I'm gonna keep these out and let them cool because if I put them in the bag, right away they're gonna um they're gonna steam it up and get mushy which i don't want so i'm gonna let them cool a little bit longer and i'm gonna right now i've got my computer back up and i'm gonna look at the comments and see if i can answer any questions before we get booted because we are about to get booted let's see leslie says i seem so down to earth i am so far down to earth i think it's a gravity thing i know that was lame sorry super punny um, I might be hooked. Love that it's like hanging out with friends. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe, everybody. Please, please, please subscribe. I'm getting a big red notice from Facebook telling me three minutes and 56 seconds. They are telling me to wrap this up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Kelly says, uh, I can always block the haters. Yes, we need to block the haters. No haters allowed. That's not cool. Who needs that? I don't need that negativity in my life. Aaron says, all I can think about is bacon. You can push the button in the other room. We don't want to listen to that right now, sweetie. She's got one of those musical books. Mm, not the time. Although, Erin, no, 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 don't go that way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. That oven is hot. Go the other I have like two minutes. I have like two minutes. Go, go, go. Okay, sorry, guys. Okay. Erin um, bought an applause thing that is super cool, and I'm going to need to borrow it because it's like, oh, yay, in the background. That would be fun right okay uh, Denise thinks I'm so annoying sorry Denise you don't have to stay okay what sweetheart honey I'm not it uh, grandma can turn the light on if you want okay I'm not seeing any pressing oh she's taking a shower just sit on the sit on the bed I've literally got one more minute before Facebook boosts me off push the button push the button go for it give us a little bit of music to go out on all right I'm gonna say goodnight guys Facebook says I have one minute and 27 seconds, and I have two minutes and 50. I think Facebook counts times faster than my clock. Weren't we, like, at the same time a second ago? Anyway, I don't know. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I've been on an hour and 27 minutes. So I've got two minutes and 20 seconds left, and two minutes and 40 seconds left on our crescent. So we're not actually going to see those come out. But thank you so, so, so much for tuning in. I know this was a long one. Um, please hit subscribe. I think it's over here, possibly at the top of the comments or somewhere in the comments. And if you'd like to watch this from the beginning, bless your heart. I would appreciate that. And when you rewatch it, it'll also give you the subscribe option. Then I'm on Tuesdays and Thursdays here at Mama Loves Food and also on Spaceships and Laser Beams. I also come on on Wednesdays during the day, um, occasionally to do crafts with the kids. And I would love to see you guys. And hopefully next time I'll be able to see comments scrolling so we'll be a little bit more interactive. Um, in the meantime, thank you and have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next week.